Hi, I'm Lori from the Three Acre Farm. Today I'm going to share with you a little secret to prevent cutworms from damaging your plants. It's a very easy um, little secret. You don't need much, you just need your plants and then a pot. You could even use the pot that your plant came in. And then you need a pair of scissors or garden snips or shears. So maybe you've had this happen to you in the past where you went to the garden center and you bought all of your plants, your tomatoes, your peppers, broccoli, um, you went out into the garden, you lovingly placed them in there with great care and you watered them and put a little fertilizer on them. And then the next morning you come out to the garden eagerly to check on your plants and they're all gone. All of them just snipped off right at the base of the plant. It's so discouraging. This has happened to me. It's happened to lots of other people. And what is happening is there are these little pests in your garden that are called cutworms and they're about this long. Uh, they look like little caterpillars. They come out at night and they scoot along on the surface of the soil and whatever they find, they devour and they just leave the little stem at the bottom. Your plant will not regrow, it's done. You're gonna have to go buy all new plants, which gets really expensive and super discouraging. So here is what you can do to prevent this. When you have your plant, um, you'll prepare the place in the soil and then you just take your plant out and now you have this. And this is what you're going to use to make your collar. This is called a cutworm collar. So take your little pot and then take your scissors or your garden shears. I really like these from Fiskars that are um, they're called garden snips. And I take this and I cut off the top of the pot and that will be discarded. And now you have this ring, a collar. You can also do this with paper towel or toilet paper tubes, but I found as soon as they get wet, they disintegrate. And this is um, a good way to use these, and they can be reused over and over a year after a year. So if you have a lot of these sitting around in your garden shed and don't know what to do with them, these are great uh, for making cutworm collars. Next, I'll take you outside and show you how I would um, put these around the plant. So here we are out in the garden. I'm going to be planting some broccoli. Here's my broccoli plant, all ready to go in there. I'm just going to make a little hole in the soil, dig that out, and then I'm going to add some crushed eggshells, broccoli and cauliflower. I really like the extra calcium that comes from eggshells. So I'll put those in there. Now I'm going to bury this plant up to the first set of leaves. So it's buried in there. Now I'm going to take my cutworm collar. I'm going to place this right over top of the plant and I'm really going to snug it down in there. Make sure that it's protected so the cutworms can't go underneath it. And then I'll push a little soil up on the side. So now there's a barrier um, there that the cutworm cannot get to. I will keep these on for two or three weeks um, until the plant gets big enough that it doesn't need to be protected anymore. As their stems grow, then they're not so susceptible, so, uh, susceptible to the cutworm. So you don't have to keep these on through the whole growing season. You can take them off and then just put them in your garden shed and save them for next year. I hope that this video helped. I hope that it saves you a lot of money and uh, a lot of heartache as well. And this way your plants have a fighting chance.